This is Whitefish News with Lavena James. Happening now. Tomorrow, Whitefish will have the first annual dodgeball tournament at the lodge at Whitefish Lake. It goes from 11 to 4 p.m. There will be 16 teams, 6 people per team, and the entry fee is $60 per team. There will be food, drinks, and a DJ, and the winning team takes home all the money. On June 1st, the Way will be hosting Safe Grad Night. Safe Grad Night is a tradition that provides a safe night and is an alcohol drug-free graduation, celebration for the Whitefish High School seniors. The lock-in event is held from 10 to 2.30 a.m., and tickets at the event are sold at the office or through Venmo for $24 through May 24th. Tickets are sold after this date are $30 through May 31st. That's it for Whitefish News. I'm here with Farmer Chris. Introduce yourself. Hi, you I'm Farmer Chris, or Mr. Bickford. I work at the CSE. I teach agriculture and horticulture classes, and I also teach classes to K through 6. <laughs> Um, why did Whitefish initially build the greenhouse? You know, I wasn't here when we first built the greenhouse. However, they wanted to offer an opportunity for students to work with their hands to learn about sustainability concepts through, um, through plants in general. And so we offer a wide variety of installations uh, of various ways to grow things. And the greenhouse is one of those things. We do lots of different science projects in there in earth science and AP environmental science. And then my horticulture students help take care of the space and agriculture students run a small business out of the greenhouse. So this is what we call the food forest. The food forest is a permaculture style garden. So we let a lot of different types of perennial plants grow here. We also uh, plant a lot of self-seeding annuals. So those are annuals that grow, they produce their seed and they spread their seed in place. And so we let all of those different types of plants kind of compete over time. Um, we don't really take anything out of here unless it's a food crop that we're going to eat. We don't really take anything out. We just cut it down and let everything kind of grow around it. So in the spring and through the winter, it can look a little bit messier, but by summer, all of those things are covered. Um, the reason why we leave all that material there is because we're trying to grow more and more soil. So permaculture has this idea of allowing more and more plants to kind of grow in the same area over the course of time. It's a really cool thing to watch change over time. because. So this is uh, one of our native plant installations and it has a lot lot of uh, riparian or wetland kind of influence here so most of the water in the greenhouse building kind of flows to the north here and so we're able to catch most of that water in this catchment area um, and we've planted a lot of native species that are really good uh, at growing in like higher moisture areas or riparian areas or wetland type areas. Compost piles over here are all these materials come out of the greenhouse or out of the garden beds. We use that compost, the finished compost, um, in producing potting mix that we then use um, for our plant cell products as well as our microgreens production. So, we so these are all different plants that we've started. We start lots of different plants by seed. We also start some from cuttings um, and there are lots of different ways to propagate things from cutting, but we like to start tons of things from seed. Um, our seed started plants eventually are sold at the uh, our spring plant sales. We also plant all these things here in our garden beds and outside in a variety of other installations. Uh, we have lots of different varieties of plants that we start um, from flowers to herbs to vegetables. All of them get used either here or we sell them to local townsfolks that are interested in having gardens. Here are some microgreens that we'll be harvesting tomorrow. Um, we sell them all throughout Whitefish, um, and many of your teachers are participants in uh, a weekly CSA of those as well. So here we have our fig tree. It produces lots and lots of figs. We get about two flushes of figs every year. It's grown really, really quickly. It's about a four-year-old tree, maybe five years old at this point, and it's grown massively. If you look way up, you might be able to see the banana tree up at the top. It's produced bananas once. We're hoping that this fall it will do it again. Here's some figs that are forming here. They'll be ready before too long. They turn a nice purple color and then they're really sweet and tasty. And our pomegranate tree right here, again, is a really, really cool species. And it has produced pomegranates a few times, but has some fantastic looking flowers.
Ha ha! Hello! Today we are cooking with chef, right? Um, we are basically gonna make something today that is cheap, easy, delicious, low fat, and high in protein for you to enjoy. Before we get started, in my class, we talk about mise en place. M-I-S-E-E-N-P-L-A-C-E. -E. Those that have had my class know that means a place for everything and everything in its place. Before we start, we see that we have fresh herbs, sharp cheddar cheese, our avocados, some Louisiana hot sauce, kosher salt, and fresh ground black pepper. So I have my cracked egg in the bowl and I'm gonna take this egg here, I'm gonna show you how easy this is. I'm gonna put this right in the microwave here. I'm gonna put a paper towel over the bowl and I'm gonna set this for 12 seconds. Right now we're gonna make a 24 second dish with no fat added, no oil, high protein, no pan, no mess, ready to go. I'm gonna take this out after 12 seconds. This is key guys, you gotta baby it. You're gonna take your spatula or your fork and you're just gonna work the outsides of the egg a little bit, free it up from the bowl and 12 seconds part two. Two sections of 12 seconds, you're gonna have a perfectly round egg that looks like one on a McMuffin, but one that's actually good for us, right? I take my egg out, work my edges again. Would you like your egg over medium? Would you like your egg over easy? Yeah, nicely, this just slides right out on toast. It actually holds the shape of the English muffin, or you can have it on your toast if you'd like, your avocado toast, right? And then I have a little bit of our fresh herbs. I have a little bit of our hot sauce. 